tonight is the launch of the Spare and Dairy uh, local election candidates for the upcoming Super Council election. Uh, very, very important election for Sinn Féin, particularly given the fact the EU election is on the same day. And uh, then on the following day, we have our comrades in the 26 counties also going to the polls. So it's very, very important uh, on a national sense as well as a local sense. Sinn Féin are standing candidates in every uh, council uh, across the, the island of Ireland. And uh, I have very, or have every confidence that uh, the people of Ireland will return Sinn Féin with a strong, solid mandate as they have done in the past. In my own particular area, which would cover Castle Derrick area, we have been out uh, canvassing. We had Martina Anderson uh, doing a like, canvas of Castle Dare Town today and I have to say the people that we, we met and spoke to uh, told us their concerns but uh, and addressing those concerns, I, I very much got the impression that uh, they have faith in Sinn Féin as the party who can uh, deliver for the people on the ground. And I have to say the response we're getting is very, very positive. And even the young people who come out today um, to join us on the canvas uh, is very, very heartening. And I think it bodes well for the future of republicanism and for the future of the Sinn Féin party. Well, this evening is the official launch, but of course, Mick, as you'll be aware, we've already been round many, many doors, knocking doors, leafleting areas, making sure people are on the register, and really creating a dynamic for the election campaign. And it's, it's going really well so far. Fantastic response on the doorsteps, and we're getting a lot of calls into the office and through Facebook and all the various medias that, that we've made available to people. And I'm just delighted with how we're going so far, but hopefully uh, the momentum will build and will have a, a really successful outcome to this election campaign. What sort of issues are you coming across? The, the issues that we deal with all the time on council. People are bringing those to us as, as we're coming around the doors and we're looking to get them on the register etc. You know, this is a very pointed exercise in terms of the election. but. We're, we're still getting the ordinary issues. We're also getting issues with, with young people being away um, and the difficulty for them in terms of getting themselves registered uh, and being able to vote, getting the proxy vote or the postal vote. So those those are very, very prevalent with so many young people ha uh, now being away, either studying or unfortunately haven't had to emigrate uh, abroad. Um, so th that's a big issue. And in fact, you'll find yourself drawn into other conversations with parents at the door, as you can understand yourself. And, and it's actually lovely. I mean, this is my favourite part of the election, the door-to-door -door work um, where you're really connecting with people again because a lot of the time the council work will draw you away from, from that uh, and you may be dealing with individual issues but you're not dealing with a, a great swathe of, of areas all at once and so it's very empowering and it's very dynamic, the, the whole campaign so far. So the may go from strength to strength, hopefully. It's great they see so many people coming out and supporting the local candidates and especially it's great they have Martina here, our European candidate and you know, considering we're running four candidates across all the European constituencies, only party to be doing that in Ireland, you really feel like you're part of something when you're part of Sinn Féin. Do you get a sense that people understand the reality of the Super Council and the fact that if people come out and vote, elect all our candidates, that Sinn Féin will be able to make a massive difference in the new council? Well I think the media has a part to play in explaining the people, the new setup and the, what the new super councils mean for people and with the whole new areas, especially with us being thrown on Wister Van, it'll be it's up to us as like Sinn Fein activists to get that point across to the people and especially locally so the people know that this election could mean that for the first time in day it's Sinn Fein controlled and that can only be for the betterment of our cause. One of the things I'm particularly pleased about is the many young people putting themselves forward within the party to contest these elections. You know, down in Dublin we've the young, youngest candidate in the Free State, Jonathan Graham Stanton, 19 years of age. Myself, I'm the youngest Sinn Féin candidate in the North, 21 years of age. It's showing people that you know, Sinn Féin is the party of youth and the youth get a chance in Sinn Féin. It's showing that young people aren't just apathetic and are interested in getting involved. Uh, this can only be a good thing for our party and our struggle as a whole. It has to be said, what an incredible range of candidates this area has. 
Absolutely, and I have had the experience and the opportunity of being with them all day. And to see those seven people working their hearts out from I arrived right through to we landed here was a real injection for myself. It really gave me energy, and I know I'm somebody that has a lot of energy, but keeping up with them today was a challenge in itself for me. They are energetic, they're determined, they're confident, they're enthusiastic, and they're ready to go forward and stand in this election so that they can represent the people in the way that they want to. The, the, the scale and the breadth of the organisations that they took me to today, I was up looking at suckler cows, we were in the, in, with the wellies on and we were getting all about, told about slurries and the difficulty of spreading at the moment because it's too wet out there. We we're meeting groups and organisations, you know, from right across who are, you know, looking for the kind of information that they can get from myself about the support that they want from Europe. And it's good that they're getting recognised, that I feel anyway, it's good that there's a recognition that they're starting to hear about the funding opportunities that are available because I have been working working very, very hard with my team and with all of us in terms of Sinn Féin. We've been working collectively together and you know we have been promoting those opportunities and people are starting to hear about them, people that I haven't had an opportunity to engage with before. So people know the importance of this election. Yeah. No problem. No problem. And they know that we have got an opportunity to elect four Sinn Féin MPs back to Europe. And if we had the four of us back in Europe, we at times can be keen makers there. Because let's us not forget, in Strasbourg, you can get something voted in by having four people in there voting in a particular way. So if people want the representation that Republicanism can bring, then the All-Ireland ticket of Sinn Féin is the people that they have to support and vote for. Pat, uh, packed all here tonight. Packed all here tonight, launching uh, the seven local candidates in the new council of uh, Derry Stavan. It's an important council uh, election for us because uh, these new entities give us a chance, particularly in this area, and not only to become the biggest party, but possibly bigger than all of the other parties put together. And that's the challenge. Uh, and of course, Western Own has uh, another challenge on the other end of the constituency with Oma and uh, Fermanagh. And again, we have the opportunity there to become uh, the biggest party and possibly bigger than all the rest put together. But in the wider context of uh, uh, the whole island, this is actually bigger than the 1918 election, where we're going to be fighting in every single county and every single council and fighting all four European seats. So it's quite enormous, uh, the challenge and the task. But I think it's a credit to the strength of the people in halls like this all over the place uh, who have been coming together now for weeks and months, planning and organising and bringing forward their proposals uh, to launch this campaign as we've done here tonight. It has to be said when they were doing the presentation during the meeting, the quality of candidates is quite outstanding. Absolutely amazing. You know, sometimes when you know them for so long that you forget how many degrees they have and how much experience they have and how much knowledge and you feel like saying, but them boys are a lot better uh, educated than I am. But there, there were great, brilliant, uh, uh, right through all seven of them uh, and Martina as the, uh, as the European candidate.